With Liberty's upset over number one seed UNC Asheville in the semifinal of the Big South Tournament, the stage was set for the number two seed Radford to host the championship. Today, the Highlanders and Flames met in the Deadman Center in the conference title game with the trip to the NCAA Tournament on the line. Radford won both regular season matchups against Liberty this year. Radford's Carleek Jones drives inside and gets the sweet finger roll first bucket of the game. Later at the other end, it's Lavelle Cabell dropping in the floater for two. Then the Flames pass it around and find Mayo Baxter Bell. He drains the short jumper and we're tied at 14s. But the Highlanders Devonte Holland had a big day inside. He connects on the hook shot. Radford led by five at halftime to the second half. Shot clock winding down. Travis Fields hits a huge three and the fans are loving it. Flames came back with one of their own from Ryan Kemright in the corner, but Scotty James also came alive. He gets the bucket and the foul. Liberty up by one with under three to play, but here's the play of the game. Under 10 seconds to go, Carly Jones at the top of the key and nails the dagger three-pointer after a view. It's good and Radford wins 55 to 52. It was a close game from start to finish with the largest lead never exceeding nine points. In the third matchup of the season between the Flames and the Highlanders, both teams left it out on the court, but Radford prevails, claiming their first Big South title since 2009. It took some time for both teams to settle in, but not the case for Martinsville product Devontae Holland. He hit 11 points on five of eight shooting. He uh, struggled a little bit against Longwood, I think it was, in the first round. And uh, and I just told him, you know, I said, these these guys can't guard you, man. You know, just I believe in that dude, man. I believe in all these guys, but I really believe in his ability to score the ball. And uh, he came out, man. He was, he was lights out to start that game. Liberty showed why they deserve to be here, knocking down some clutch three-pointers in the second half. The Flames had double-figure performances from Lavelle Cavill and Scotty James. And they had momentum late in the game, but they couldn't take the lead before giving the ball back to Radford. We just didn't quite finish a possession or two down the stretch, but again, that hopefully we learn from it moving forward and down the road. It's like I shot it, and you know how you, you shoot it, and you're like, all right. And I looked at it after a while, and I was like, that's good. <laughs> and it fell. With the conference championship win, Radford can pull out its dancing shoes as they punch the ticket to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2009. Head coach Mike Jones says it's been a long time coming. When I took the job, I, you know, I didn't care, you know, what kind of job it was. I knew that eventually we were going to be able to spit shine and put some polish on it, but uh, we figured it would take a long time. But uh, just proud of everybody who's been a part of this program. Um, coaches, managers, players, uh, everybody who's helped us get to this point. In Radford, Eric Johnson, 10 Sports.